Hallo zusammen. Hallo Audience. Ah, hi together, <lacht> sorry. <lacht> Have to speak English, okay. Hi Hello, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Good. So, one more session uh, for the fun with Redux. We have yep. today our episode 39 mm -hmm. and the topic is IFC. IFC. Uh, what does IFC mean? IFC stands for <laughs> Industrial <laughs> Foundation, Foundation Classes. Oh, <laughs> what's up today? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for this. Um, and what is IFC in general? <laughs> IFC is a general, <laughs> is an, uh, um, we are talking here about uh, BIM, about the building information modeling. Yep. And uh, the IFC is an, is an open standard mm -hmm. to uh, cooperate between uh, various um, BIM authoring, authoring, authoring systems mm -hmm. so that you can, uh, when you are working with one of these, you can export these and then your planning should be able to read by various other programs for visualization, for uh, specific um, um, plannings in, in the context of um, some yeah. in, in various areas of, of planning. Yeah. Or something else. Yeah. So it's an information exchange of a um, complete building uh, between different applications. So IFC is created from a neutral group of experts and not from software. This is a big difference. So um, there are not so many uh, data formats out there who deliver such complex stuff uh, without having and connected software directly. So this is something special on IFC. It is a little yeah. bit like the, the, the PDF for the documents. So the, the IFC is, uh, the, is the PDF. Is that what the PDF is for documents, um, for, cat for cat planning, for, for BIM planning? Um, um, yes, this is um, yeah, the best way to describe it. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, today the episode is about IFC import. So not, not in general IFC as a data format. It would also fill up the complete episodes if we just talk about IFC, because it's quite interesting, with an interesting history, with interesting use cases, but also with an with a stack of yeah um, lags and issues which you will face with IFC in general. This is um, the truth behind this data format. It's uh, it's complicated, it's complex, but it's also can deliver a lot, mm -hmm. can do a lot, uh, can be a lot of beneficence uh, in with this format, but also a lot of pain, depending because uh, it's complex. Uh, and we're going uh, with you into Redux Desktop because Redux Desktop can now also import IFC files, which is a huge step uh, in order to yeah in order to allow complex mm -hmm. building structures directly in IFC. Uh, it's for free, so we can uh, use it directly with your existing view of system installation. You can import IFC and we will show it how it works. And for this, um, I start the screen sharing again. And then we can have a look together how this will look and perform. And but before we before we jump into Redux desktop, one second, I have to select the right screen. And now you see my screen, yes. So here we have Redux desktop, but this is for later. First, we need to jump or should jump into IFC in general. Uh, the nice thing of IFC is that you have a lot of free of charge, uh, open source uh, viewers and also some tools to do something with IFC. Um, I've not seen a really powerful uh, free IFC um, uh, or BIM authoring system. The, the real good ones cost money. It's not like in Blender, for example. In Blender, you have a powerful free of charge uh, 3D model tool. In the BIM world, uh, the, the best things cost real money. There's not really a good editor. But viewers, there are tons of interesting, nice viewers uh, in the web pages. But here we have an, an Windows based, uh, or at least in Windows running um, viewer. And here, this is a nice occasion to, let's say, to check the fundamentals of IFC. Because you you need to, to understand a bit of an IFC format in order to import this right and to understand what happens by import of an IFC in general, not just on Redux. In general, it's it's good to understand the fundamentals. And here we have an, an um, here's this tool is called uh, IFC Query or IFC++ from Germany. Uh, and here we see an IFC building. So this is an IFC file. Uh, two megabytes large, and it's in quite, yeah, a handsome um, IFC file, no real issues, uh, nice structured. I guess this building is not really existing, but here you can see, let's say, the, the hierarchy 
of the building structure because in IFC you have an in hierarchy of elements, uh, which they are connected together. So, for example, we have here the yeah the project, we have here the the site, the area, we have here the building itself, and the building has a kind of floors. And here we have in the ground floor, for example, and here we have a couple of rooms in the ground floor. And the, the rooms are IFC spaces. This is important that you understand. This is an IFC space, uh, uh, which is in uh, hopefully in the IFC file, and this is the room. And room is the base for Relux uh, in order to uh, to get down into the into the building. We are organized in room sections called light. Lighting is also in rooms. You 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 calculate you check the lighting values for one room, and not an in interaction with other rooms. It's independent, small silos. The rooms the rooms are important for us in lighting and. The rooms are also there in IFC, but it has not be there. It is possible to create an IFC file without any rooms, uh, without any spaces. So there are rooms, uh, but there are no spaces. And the spaces is um, the point which we need in order to import this well and right. We will see some examples. Um, and we have the IFC space. And of course, IFC space comes also with some properties, with more objects in it, with furniture and so on. And here, for example, we can we can also here nicely see the entities. We can visualize, for example, here the, the slabs. I can just click away. The, the site is now array. We have the windows. Of course, this is all the windows. We have the, the walls. Now we have no walls anymore, no doors, no furniture, no stairs, no annotations, no railing for the, uh, for the stairs, and also no columns. So and now we have just left over the the IFC spaces, which are needed. Uh, here's the selected one in the ground floor. And this IFC spaces are needed for interpretation uh, for Redux, because this is what is interesting for us. The, yeah, the, the surfaces of the room to the inner side, and this should be the IFC space. And with no IFC space, we have nothing left over. Um, and uh, and in, in most of the cases, or in, in not in most of the cases, in a, in a couple of phases, uh, cases, you have for example, just the walls uh, with the slabs, yeah, with the slabs, with the steps in between, and also um, doors and curvatures, and so on. And I can also here in this tool we can make this kind of um, explosion. Mm -hmm. And here we oops, wrong button. And here we can here we can see. Uh, hopefully, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and here you can see, okay, that it looks like a building. It looks like a, a nice ground floor or floor plans, uh, which are easy to interpret by a human. But the IFC space are missing. It, it looks nice. It looks in geometry. It, it's mm -hmm. perfect. But at the moment, we have not a tool which can identify a room just by the wall structure. It's it's possible. Uh, it will be in 90% of, of the cases. It's could possible that we identify a room by a wall surrounding, but this is not uh, in, uh, included right now. It's a potential for, for later. So if we do it at the moment, we need to have this IFC spaces. And IFC spaces uh, is in the IFC definition, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, the size of the room. And this is everything which is interesting for us. Of course, also windows, doors, and furniture and so on will also be imported, but we need to identify the pieces of space uh, by the IFC space. Okay, enough of this IFC uh, theory. For now, let's jump into Redux Desktop, and here we can um, um, here we can. Yeah, I will show you how it works. The IFC import. Um, if you do not have any IFC at home, uh, we can you can use one uh, or two. We have two of them in our help section. We have here sample projects, and here you found two different IFC files. And also the IFC file, uh, which I had demonstrated in this other tool. And here you can open it, import it. Uh, and this journey starts with a an, yeah, an dialog. And here in the dialog, you can say, OK, I want to import everything, which you can see on the lots of ticks here. And this building has, we have seen it, a lot of um, uh, rooms. And here the IFC spaces has also room names. Uh, but you can also decide to not have any room of it. Awesome. And, and then you, yeah, then you run into it or not. And then you go, go just to import, and that's all. You, have, you don't need to to put in command lines or something. It's just uh, in simple, pick the file, and let's show you what happens. I go here to the ground floor. And here on the ground floor, you can see the shape. 
and also here in 3D. Um, again, this is a nice working sample, uh, an artificial one, I guess. This is not real life, this building. Um, and you can also go into one room here, for example, the bigger one. And in the room, you have the, the surfaces you need for calculation, also the objects. Uh, and here you can start your lighting design tasks. We are yeah. also adding the, the, the measuring surfaces, as you know it from, from the looks. Mm -hmm. Also doors, windows, furniture. So you try to be almost complete in a, in a known structure. Uh, but it's also possible here, here you have, uh, again, just the, the room entities. We have not any facade here. We have just the room entities and, of course, the geometry allocated to the room structures. And if you, if you are in need of making an, an outdoor calculation, facade lighting, whatever, it's also possible to import. Uh, it's also possible to import. So the, we started with uh, the normal import uh, with IFC. So import IFC, and with this you can add another IFC to your existing uh, project. So we can here add one IFC after another mm -hmm. in a batch. Yes, maybe it makes sense, maybe not. Or for example, in, in a realistic project, you may decide not to import all all rooms in the first step. So you will start with a few, yeah. and you start your design, and then you will add some more rooms in it. So sometimes you will not have the necessary to make calculation to all rooms and then yeah. you may decide that you just want to import uh, yeah. a few of them. Absolutely, so it's possible to, to add uh, with this import and section. It's also yeah. possible to add another RDF file to an existing RDF file. So crazy yeah. stuff is possible. And uh, here, but I'm not going to import the rooms again because I have already the rooms. I'm going here to import the geometry as a whole, uh, at, a, at, a, at an exterior, at an outdoor scene, into my existing projects with this import function. And this means we will have uh, the complete geometry of the IFC car. The IFC car has a lot of geometry in it, as we have seen it. And now we have just the geometry uh, without the, the room structure. Uh, this is something we need to be aware of. So we have here the exterior in 3D. And it looks like this in Relux. Looks a bit like what we have seen in this IFC viewer, because here it's pure geometry. So it has some benefits that we can here go and make nice facade lighting or have the, for visualizations is also nice. And you can even go into the rooms and have the furniture in the rooms and doing also a calculation surface and measuring surface inside the rooms and calculate with the real, real rooms dimensions. But it's really painful. So we can try to go into a room, and here we have a room. It's also hard to, to get the camera at the right position. Here I see some kind, I guess it's a kind of table, but you do not want to, to make really that design on this geometry model. You want to go into this IFC space, room-based model in order to do real light integration. But this friend here, this is great for pure visualization purposes. With not need to put calculation surface in each room, especially if you have so many rooms. Then you just jump into an, an real floor and pick a real room and go into this room and do your magic calculations here in this kind of room. So this is this is the basic functionality. So uh, I have an example uh, where we have not any IFC space at all. Uh, this is something which we which we do not want to have but it's existing and maybe you have just a visualization proposed and it makes of course sense so and also uh, there's, there's, there's we have seen mm -hmm. two ways one is the samples samples is just maybe for for some sandboxing the other way is the imports way to get you go to import and send ifc but if you don't have an, an project open uh, the import is not possible the import is just possible if you have already a project in redox desktop open of course, you can create one mm -hmm. and then go to the import line, but also possible to, to import a project right as a starting point. The difference between open and uh, import and project is that we, that we need mm -hmm. to have the metadata, so the, the title of the project. So this, um, this screen here, this is the, the, the only difference. So we start here the journey by an, um, by this frame, so we need you can you will need to have to enter the project number, the object, and so on, and the, the date and some description. 
And then you need to select an, an IFC file or an recut file or an uh, DBXML file, so everything which is a project in a way or a building structure, but not an existing Redux project. This is the difference, an existing Redux project, but with open and import project or project import, if you have something which is not out of Redux, but it's more or less complete and building structure. And here I have a nice building from Germany. Uh, and, and building which I yes. already know, so I was in this building, so I know the building, which is beneficial. But this IFC model does not contain any IFC spaces. And this is a bit of a huge uh, file. This has uh, almost 80 megabytes. Um, this is quite huge for an IFC file, but of course there are yeah. even bigger IFC files. And here the only option I have is import the, the geometry as exclusively. Also here, interesting is take care that there is a, a this 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 right um, this red uh, note that this uh, scene has no IFC spaces, mm -hmm. which makes it a little bit problematic if you want to make the, the the calculation by rooms as you have seen it before. Yeah, maybe you can show we will the see mouse it. highlight. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, one second. I forgot to activate the mouse highlight. There it is. So yeah. Here, the sentence is meant, project contains, contains no nothing. IFC space element to import. Yes, this means we will not have rooms, but we can have a complete geometry. And depending on what you want to do with the project and what is in content, um, it's maybe enough to have just the geometry. So for outdoor projects, for outdoor projects, it's quite enough. So you don't need to have the rooms in outdoor projects, railway stations, whatever, uh, this works well. But here I have an exterior scene as a result. And yeah, again, it's 80 megabytes. It's big, a bit of a bigger project. And let's check it out. Ah, yeah, OK. And let's go in 3D. This is this building, three floors. You can also see kind of colors coming also with it. And here we have the issue with the import. Uh, we have um, the material information out of the IFC file. And IFC files doesn't really have a lot of material information. So color is something mm -hmm. to address some elements, but you have not the, the complexity of materials like texture, transmission, mm -hmm. stuff. This is really seldom and, and not in any case possible in IFC. Um, and here we have plastic. So this is plastic, of course, this is glass. And it's it's easy in, in Redux desktop to exchange materials. First of all, we need to identify the material. The material here on this um, glass element is uh, diffuse with 70%. You go to the material and edit. And here we need to find this is the material. And here we can, here's plastic. It's described as plastic. Of course, you also can change the plastic to something else in plastic. And here we can also exchange uh, the element uh, with stuff from my other screen ah, here. Uh, and here I go to wet tracing material, material types, glass, and window glasses, and double glazing. And I just exchange it. And uh, again, it's another screen. And I need to, or I should rename it. And now the glass is glass, which is great. And for all the material, it's not just mm -hmm. for this particular element, it's for all. And now hopefully uh, for visualization purposes, so I can, of course, you can now add luminars uh, for the facade. You can add um, also indoor uh, luminars um, and, and put it there. It's also possible to put in measuring surfaces and so on and go in real lighting calculation with this model. Uh, it's even, oh, I have to, to put on the sun. It's nighttime as default, and now the sun is up. And now you can see, okay, the glass is glass. Uh, here, the door is still plastic. And uh, we can now here go into the building. And here in this this kind of IFC, it's possible to, uh, to do also lighting calculation. So we have not so many rooms, and we can also easily put in um, surfaces for calculation in it. And for example, here this, this staircase is also a good model, a good model reference in order to to make a lighting calculation uh, for the staircase. Of course, you have the pain to to add 
surfaces for measuring areas. It's also possible to just make here and, and surface for all over this um, stairs, but it's up to you, up to your local regulations, how detailed you have to be if it comes to lighting surfaces. But this is quite impressive what you can do with an IFC import. So IFC can be complex, there can be a lot of information in it. And here with this kind of model, you can also make some kind of um, sunshine, or it's too, again, wrong, the wrong direction, you can also make some kind of daylight simulation, mm -hmm. so from what, from what kind of direction the sun comes in and out yeah, from this side. Um, this is a nice, nice feature for this. But of course, it's, it's a bit of hard if it's going in the direction of doing calculations with this, because we have just here one exterior project and not any room mm -hmm. available, paid for. Um, yeah, so this is this sample uh, of this nice building. Um, there is another sample, so I need to close this. There's another sample I want to show you one feature which is maybe interesting or could be interesting to you. There is a project with just two rooms. And these two rooms, yeah, here, here we have two rooms, two spaces, but these spaces are broken. Um, the reason is uh, this is a an, an building with sloped ceilings, and these sloped ceilings are not represented uh, in the IFC space. So the IFC space just is mm -hmm. the walls and the floor, but not the ceiling. And here we have this feature, it's called close un unenclosed spaces. So make the space uh, closing this feature, and this um, uh, feature helps to repair or to close the IFC spaces. And so one second. Um, it happens again. We, we're using here now a better version of GoToMeeting, which I find beneficial, uh, except of this uh, drop of camera sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah, there's a delay, uh, but it should come back to screen. Okay, and yeah, you can see here it's maybe not the real ceiling situation, but at least it's closed by just um, putting a mesh uh, on the ceiling uh, and we can you can go on and use it. Uh, ceiling is something um, which you, on this case, maybe want to redo. Uh, and ceiling in general, just to make it short, uh, it's, it's something where I personally would create an, an extrusion That's volume it. and put my objects uh, on the ceiling with 3D objects imported or created in, in, in Windows Desktop. And then you can mark each 3D object as ceiling object. And with this marking in the property section, this is a ceiling object, it will be part of the ceiling and will work as a ceiling. So this is the, let's say the yeah. convenient, the most convenient option to create ceilings if you have to remodel it at the moment. Um, yeah, maybe this uh, will be an, 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 an future episode that we just deal with ceilings. Of course, we can also fill up an episode just with all kinds of different ceilings options. Uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. And uh, it's also something you need to be aware and you need to, uh, to have some kind of concepts how to deal with ceilings in lighting in general, but also in how to create this in, in our application. Okay, um, in short, that's all um, I want to show. Did I miss something? Not that I remember at the moment. I guess an, an outer IFC would be great. So yes, <laughs> but we haven't. So this works also. It works also yeah. with uh, with exterior scenes. So yeah. for example, we have a lot of customers who are using it for uh, rail stations and, and yeah, and railway stuff. And, yeah. and railway stuff. This can still just by using this um, option, uh, just importing the geometry will work well. But for buildings and interior planning, the, the most important thing is that you have useful IFC spaces inside of, of your model. Mm -hmm. um, this is also the same when we are talking, when you're thinking about uh, Revit, for example, you know, we have this uh, plugin for Revit mm -hmm. and a little bit later we will talk about this. Yeah. Um, but there we have the sim a similar problem. You make it create in, in Revit uh, a model without rooms, just mm -hmm. geometry, building to the purposes of, um, of construction, mm -hmm. exterior walls, interior walls, silings, which are going over the complete um, 
floor, for example, and, and all these problems. And you have also there in Revit an option to create the rooms, this, which, which is similar like the EFC spaces in, um, uh, uh, in, in the IFC. And this is useful and needful for, for, for a good handling of the, um, uh, 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 of the, of the EFC, the, the import of the EFC models inside of the rooms. Yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, uh, it's also recommended as, uh, from us if you have a Revit application, uh, in the Revit license, uh, of course, it's also it's expensive if you have a Revit license and if you have the model in Revit uh, as a Revit model in best case, uh, then we, um, we would recommend okay. to use the Revit directly and not uh, to, to filter it down by, um, by IFC because IFC is kind of a filter. And also, um, IFC is kind of a filter, and also Redux is kind of a filter. So if you're mm -hmm. putting in information into it, we can just use in Redux the elements which we understand and know, which is mm -hmm. limited to lighting, of course. And also the IFC from from his um, mm -hmm. structure is also limited to what an IFC can can mm -hmm. can uh, contain. And this is something uh, where you be aware if you convert, 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 you lose information by each single step, and it depends on the steps, and maybe it's also enriched with information. Of course, we would add luminas uh, to the to the building, but this also needs to be understood by IFC. And I have to say, IFC is quite well with luminas. Uh, there are luminas as an object in IFC, and there are also a lot of properties which you can use. At the moment, uh, 48 uh, in version 4.3. Also in the last version, it has not changed or updated mm -hmm. uh, the Lumina since years. Um, but if you have Revit, if you have the access to it, and if you have the model in Revit, uh, you, you, you're going better by using directly um, the Revit model and exchange the Revit model with uh, uh, Redux desktop. Directly. Yeah, we have, we have more options if you're coming from Revit, because uh, we understand the model better um, as, yeah. as an IFC. And IFC works in a kind of like a background, a uh, 3D background uh, for us, except of the spaces. We take the space as a room. Course it's defined, but uh, with an with an Revit model, you can really yes. doing more uh, exchange more and also going back and forth um, more ease, easy as as it's possible uh, with IFC directly. Especially when you are working in Revit, so when 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 Revit is your major software for the planning for for your planning pro process inside um, uh, uh, for your projects, then. It would you have also the, the functionality of the Revit and all the possibilities of the functionality of Revit for whatever <laughs> you can do a lot in Revit, <laughs> and uh, um, and for that reason it is uh, much better handling. It's a little bit similar, like you imagine that you have a Word and you print a PDF and then you open the PDF in Word again and you expect you have the same functionality as you have an, an, a native docx font, so you will have a loss of functionality. Yeah. Yeah, and also in Revit, it's also possible today to calculate directly in in Revit because we have put our uh, calculation core uh, directly into uh, Redux CAD uh, in, into Revit as Redux CAD for Revit. So we can do emergency light, luminar calculate, lighting calculation in general directly in Revit. It's also beneficial, um, but of course you have a different set of toolings in order to to deal with uh, luminars and with luminar um yeah with luminar aiming and so on so this is a bit of of a different different story um so ifc is more or less an, an import of the of the structure and in revit you can really work mm -hmm. and change things and walk more deeper with more tools of this but of course revit license costs money and all our our plugin also costs money so it's nothing for free the ifc uh, import here is for free, so it's and let's say an entry point, uh, or if you just need the geometry, this is an, an starting point. But if you're really working in in BIM uh, environments with Codex and uh, the Jump to Revit makes sense, and of course in Revit you can also import IFC. So uh, this was before we had this IFC import. I always told, okay, if you have an IFC and want to go into into uh, Redux Desktop, you have to have in between uh, Revit. You can import IFC in Revit, and in Revit you can have the model inside Redux desktop. This is now bridged. We do not need to have Revit anymore, but it's just an import and it's just as a geometry container and um, nothing more in structural direction. 
Um, also, an, an point we need to address is the IFC export, because I'm assuming it will be in the questions, uh, where is the export? Uh, the export is not so easy to us, because uh, an export of IFC, um, if we just put out what we have in our in our river, river desktop structure, so again, we have an, an some kind of filtering process. So if we if we would export what we have in in in, in, in Relux, it would be the room surfaces from the inside. We would not we have not the information what is inside the wall or what is the wall. We have not information about the facade, about the location. Uh, we have a lot of information which we have not in in Relux, which is needed to create an IFC file. Um, of course, we have the building structure. We can create the the we have the sites, we can create the floors, we can create the IFC spaces out of our information, but we have not the wall. It really looks like the floor um, view uh, which we had in Relux itself in the IFC file, and this is not enough to create a building model. In building model, you need at least to have uh, the walls properly, uh, the building structure in general, and Relux will filter it too much down. So there are two options which we can do in terms of export in future. It's not not uh, entered now. Um, one option would be that we just export the luminars in general. That what we create, we can also put in into the structure of IFC, into the rooms with the coordinates, uh, with the model of the of the of the luminar. So the 3D model we have, of course, the information and all the properties of the uh, even the, the LDC of the luminars could be exported in an IFC file. So this is possible that we just what we created uh, in Redux could be outputted in, in, in an IFC. But if you have an IFC just with the luminars as an export, you need to you need to merge it uh, to the original IFC in Archicad, in Vectorworks, or in Revit. Um, well, it makes not, not really any sense because you have a direct connection uh, to Redux. But if you have an IFC BIM um, um, uh, authoring system, then you need to merge uh, the luminar level to the uh, to the original building model, and this is not so easy as it sounds. Because in in 3D CAD, you can just have the same origins uh, of the luminars and the building, and just put the origins together uh, with the right scale, with the right rotation. Then you have your luminars populated in 3D CAD. In IFC, in a BIM environment, you need just to have the the coordinates uh, uh, synchronized. You need also to have the, the building structure synchronized. So the luminars has to be in the right IFC spaces in order to be represented with the room and not just with room zero in the middle and just have the coordinates of it. So this is something you have to be aware. And uh, I have not seen a good handling of this. So this means um, maybe today Archicad or Vectorworks or other Nemechek uh, um, applications has a nice synchronization feature to put in stuff from external other IFC files would be beneficial. But I've not seen a an, an really good solution for this. The other option we would have in, in Redux desktop is that we uh, keep the imported IFC file and just populate this IFC file, the existing IFC file, with luminous, which we create in the lighting design process. And this means you end up with the same IFC building which you put it in, in the output, just added with luminous. This is for me now the, the, the more interesting way. But this we need to investigate. Um, yeah, what what kind of technologies uh, or how the luminars then will uh, interpret it in the authoring systems? So we need some kind of more, let's say, information about um, the the whole process. And also, if you have a strong opinion how an IFC export should work, how the the process should be, what should be inside in detail, um, this would be great. To, to understand your workflow, because it can be quite different and quite yeah, um, indifference. It's not, not the same in all the in all the side and on in, in all the environments uh, which we need to deal uh, with BIM. For Revit, it's quite clear for us. It works well, but if it comes to IFC, there's a lot of options, maybe too many options, uh, what it could be in and out, and this needs to be for us at least clarified before we going into the export and. Yeah, but there will be in some day an, an export of IFC, more or less complex, depending on what we find out. Yeah, I guess this is all, and we can jump into your questions. questions. We have some questions sure. from you. So I switch off the screen. 
Good. First question. Zolipri is a good free IFC viewer. Okay. Yeah, IFC, uh, Zolipri is also a good model checker. So if you want to have some rule, if you have some rule checks, uh, so R have any IFC space in Lumina, uh, you can check it with Zolipri. <laughs> uh, nice tool, also quite common. I was not aware that it's for free. Uh, so maybe a part of Zolipri. For me, it's also an, an licensed pro uh, product. Next question. Um, is the IFC import function gotten better now? Because earlier I have been many bugs while importing IFC files, which are bigger and much complicated. Depending mm -hmm. on the point <laughs> you have visited first. Um, yeah, yeah uh, I have to say in, in the existing um, beta phase uh, of the IFC import, we have not changed so much. Some smaller bugs, maybe one of the bugs is one That's, which hits yeah. your uh, files. There are there there are some fixes now, so please test it again. And if you still have a problem with with some some files, uh, please um, uh, uh, send us the file to support at relux dot um, dot com, and then we will will check it. Yeah. Um, we will. You know, you you also writing the yeah, IFC files are bigger and more complicated. That's a little bit one problem. You can create or find IFC files. They are incredible large. And for that, I guess we cannot say actually so so um, that you can all all of them handle at any size or something yeah. like that. There is yeah. uh, there are some limits when when the, the handling will be lost with, yeah. without the, the it's, it's also hard to tell what is the limit. Uh, yeah. So I would not go for a so size similar. size limit. It is difficult. Depends on the on the structure behind. I, I can um, I can remember we have one which is. Even Autodesk Revit was not able to 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 yeah. in, read this file really without any problems or without any without any errors. Because it's yeah. but this is in general this is interesting for you. That's why it's also we call it also a beta phase uh, with this IFC import. So if you have an IFC which does not work, um, please and if you, if you allow to send us the IFC file, please send us the IFC file and tell us uh, what is not working or it's not working so, in general. Of course, and you do not need to describe. Uh, it's interesting for, for us and it helps to, to make the import better because um, it could be that the file, of course, it can be too big. Uh, it can be also internally too complicated uh, or too unstructurized um, and has not any information at all which we need to to put in the, the, the parsing process. Um, it's also possible that we found something which we can make, which we can in, do and work around. So that we skip some stuff and then we have at least some results out of it. Um, this is possible, but also maybe we find an, an bug in our environment, uh, and also maybe it's just impossible because this is this is the the, um, the sad thing on, on on IFC. It's not guaranteed that you can import it. Uh, it's there's always some cases which is not possible because of the structure and it's IFC is. Bit of in free, you can you can put a lot of different things yeah. in it, and also yeah. it is important sometimes when the authoring system is exporting it, which kind of settings you are using. You have a lot mm -hmm. of possibilities what you are putting into your IFC export, which are not, and re on real large project, it, it mostly is not so good idea to export everything which is inside of the uh, of the building. It is also related what is in the native BIM model existing. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's it's a little bit hard to say this in in, in one simple sentence. Yeah. Uh, could you please explain how the material works? Uh, I've tried using glass, but the results do not show any uh, light spilling from the interior, even with uh, extensive glassing, uh, glazing, uh, which seems incorrect to me. The diffuse materials does not uh, behave the same way as the glass material. Uh, yeah, it, there are a couple of options yep. or reasons behind this so because in in the main um Redux desktop um uh, 3d environment uh it's in in the in the we call it radiosity in a radiosity environment where we have perfect diffuse uh, surfaces with no any transmission so in in order to see uh, transmission in general in Redux desktop you need uh, to to make in red tracing so, or in Richard. dynamic planning, uh, or uh, the new real-time rendering. In the normal Lumina, uh, uh, Lumina, I mean, luminous um, environment, you do not see uh, uh, glass as glass. It's not 
uh, the snake this transparent. Is, you must. Uh, yeah. It also only works on 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 windows, uh, on which are must be placed in, in the facade in in, 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 in the, the walls mm -hmm. from from the room, and then you can make a, a standard radiosity daylight calculation with the glass, with, but it's yeah. just mm -hmm. just calculating with the transparency for the of, object of, window. Yeah. For, for the object window. Mm -hmm. You cannot put if you have an an, an, an an object inside of your room, for example, and, and you would put it to the material class. It only works with the rate, uh, with the ray tracing, uh, with the ray tracing calculation yeah. and or the um, um, the landscape uh, real time render. Yeah, but it can also be that you just have not um, exchanged the material um, properly. That it's not glass. Uh, also, what what has happened a lot in um, in my IFC samples is that you that you put the the window material to a glass uh, which should work, but then you still have some kind of a layer behind this um, because the IFC space is also putting as a geometry in it. You need to delete in a way then the layer behind, uh, or you have different layers uh, of glass in the IFC, and you need to so, to put everything out or make everything glass <laughs> in order to look through all of the stuff. Um, yeah, uh, here I can this I can uh, recommend to use an, an IFC viewer to get an overview of what is inside and it's maybe if you have the, the feelings that it's this direction or otherwise try just the ray tracing or real-time rendering and if you have real-time rendering just one click away then it can you see if if you see their glass then we have this issue with um, we are working with perfect diffuse surfaces in general. So how should it be for Archicad? Yes, because um, Archicad has an IFC interface. Uh, you can export IFC and put from Archicad an IFC file into in the direction Redux desktop, desktop, and then you can use your um, Archicad environment in order to do lighting design with Redux desktop, and just in this direction at the moment, yes, at the moment. and not mm -hmm. back into Archicad. That's yeah, yeah. it's a future step to to implement an export uh, export possibility into. To exchange yeah. um, our planning with, with the yeah. IFC, and that's the benefit of IFC in general, because IFC is not just for Archicad. IFC is for yeah, you can you can go in this direction. Each application which has an IFC interface is a BIM application. It's also one kind of definition, um, and so all BIM applications should have an IFC interface. Hi, Torin. What about GBXML? Um, this has been available in Relux for years. Um, what are the differences between uh, compared to IFC? Um, yes, you are right. <laughs> are more, more or less, uh, the GBXML also gives you the possibility to make this import uh, since years. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the difference, at least, is mostly that we can also import with the IFC um, um, the objects which are inside of the building, for example. Also, this exterior, this um, export as the, the building as an exterior scene, as we have shown it, mm -hmm. will only work with the IFC. This is not possible with the um, GBXML. With the GBXML. Mm -hmm. the GBXML, at least, is just uh, uh, that what we are calling the IFC spaces, the, the hull of the IFC spaces with windows and doors that are possible, but not. Um, as, as I, when I remember it correctly, not not any objects which are inside of, of this room. No furniture. And also not, we have not really um, uh, 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 the geometry. We are just creating our room geometry related to the, 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 the shape of the spaces yep. or of the rooms yep. and putting the windows and doors in it. That's it for GBXML. With the IFC, we also can import furniture or objects which are inside of the room. You have seen this uh, stairs, stack, um, uh, uh, stairs in, uh, inside of the buildings. And yes, yeah. and it's more common, more, more, common, yeah, more, more use. You so found more so easy in IFC files so and GBXML files from architects today. That's the, it's more common the interface of IFC with BIM and, and GBXML is um, it's just I would call it at the shell with openings so the shell of the buildings of the room so yeah, the, the concrete that, shell with openings yeah. for that it is yeah. designed it's yeah. just for the and this is yeah this, this is designed for green building XML it means uh, it, it's made for energy evaluations um, yeah. and but, yeah. But however, is, it is, is it, it is also really useful if you have a good GBXML model XML file. You can import it to Relux, and then you have, in the most cases, a real useful 
uh, rooms and scenes to make light calculations in Swift Free. Yeah. yeah. So it's also in and it will also stay in, uh, but we have not really much of, of the use uh, of the GBXML interface. Okay, what version I, uh, which, which, sorry, uh, hello, what version uh, can I uh, export from uh, Archicad to use it in Redux? Uh, if it comes to IFC, if you want to, uh, of course, you need to export IFC from Archicad in order to use it in Redux. Um, there is not any limitation to the version. You can use it up to the latest version. The latest uh, version is today IFC 4.3. Um, you can, but you can also uh, export it in version 2x3, so this is maybe more common, uh, but I would recommend to use one of the latest versions up from 4, because there are some structural changes, beneficence uh, in the IFC format with version 4. Version 2x3 is some kind of a fallback in, in basic sets. Uh, in terms of luminars and the fundamentals of IFC spaces and work and so on, there's not a big difference between 2x3 and 4. Uh, it's mainly infrastructure, uh, which is the, the difference in the versions. Also, the different four versions, the main difference are infrastructure stuff. So waterways, airports, uh, streets, tunnels, um, all the stuff. If it comes to this, you should have uh, 4.3. Good. Um, IFC is not structure it properly for Luminar exports. IFC is not uh, instance based, instant based, one second, instant based, instance based, yeah. It means uh, if you have, uh, let's say, 200 Luminars in a project, one instant uh, occupies, let's say, one megabyte and will export B12 megabytes. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just in hierarchy and you're putting the stuff into it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure technically. Uh, it, it's possible to link objects in an IFC, uh, in the IFC structure. Um, the, I'm question not sure. bit, the question is a little bit if the, if the if authoring systems will do that. I'm not sure. This is one of our future points for the, this yeah. a little bit. The, the problematic to in exchange objects inside of, of your building model correctly mm. in an in a, in a, in a, um, efficient way mm. between between the program. This is one of the essential things when, yeah. we, when we are talking about importing and exporting. At the moment, we are seeing a little bit more. It is a way to importing a building with rooms into the Relux for the lighting design. It is not. It is at the moment we are still working on mm. the on, on the process that you are. For example, you are exporting an IFC, which already includes luminaires, and then you can make in Relux mm. a light calculation with, with the luminaires which are included in, in the IFC, or then you can modify the lighting design and export it then back. Yeah. This is this is still in, in the process uh, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not so easy to it's, answer, but because uh, technically it should be possible from my understanding that you can have a an, an luminar just um, described in the in the library in the IFC uh, and then you can just use it but of course if the exporting um, system have different IDs just the ID the same geometry then it can be end up in the same lumina and again and again described and um, in the most yeah. cases we have uh, it is theoretically possible that you can have uh, photometric files inside of the, the IFC, but I guess you will not found anywhere any IFC file which includes luminaires with photometric mm -hmm. files. But this is one of the points. So for us as a lighting calculation program that we can work in the context of a light calculation with, the, with, with this point. And uh, that's, that's a problem in general for this. Um, data um, exchange between between the programs. Good. Next question. When importing an IFC model, it is possible to maintain the parametric properties between objects, um, for example, in recessed lumina and the associated ceiling? Uh, this this, this are <laughs> hard to say. <laughs> That's um, hard to say, yeah. No, in general, would I say no? Because uh, first of all, the the um, the luminars are imported just with geometry. It's not imported as an object which you can touch. Um, and this is also uh, something where we would put, if we identify a lumina, we would put in placeholder for the lumina and not the real lumina, because um, uh, the 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 way from luminars into our software is restricted. 
um, and yeah, it's if it's from from an from a member, it may be possible that we put Illumina in it, but not in general. So there are some borders in between putting in with IFC Luminas into our application, and um, and but I would say for the the objects which you have uh, in in a chair or in a, in a furniture, uh, this is separated. You can you can touch it. You can also delete it. You can delete single parts of it. You can change just material from one object. So this is possible. You can work with this object separately. But luminous is a special topic. So yeah. this will be especially yeah. because we need it in, in our, <laughs> as that what we are calling a luminar a digital digital uh, representation of a luminar with everything what we need to make light calculation with the luminars and, and in the most of the CID programs it's when and it's sometimes it's geometry. Sometimes you may it identify, oh, it is a luminar. In some systems, you will. It may be also happen that it comes on as a, as a furniture or something, or just as geometry. So this is not. Um, I'm not sure if any of these programs. I know mm. in in another analysis, so some of the BIM systems have no identities for luminars. It's they have just electrical. So it's mm. it's the same like a, any other electrical. Thing, but you yeah. will not see that it is really a uh, luminaire or where um, mm. which is used for lighting. Good. We have to um, to check the, the time. So we have one last question. There are more questions. And thanks for all your questions and impressions. So, but one last one, and then we need to close. I worked on design both internal and external railway stations here in the UK. Uh, we are using Bentley for 3D models, and the IFC import in Relux would be really beneficial. Thanks. Is there a limit on how many individual files can be imported um, as each discipline has individual models? No, there's not any hard limit. It's uh, not to, a hard limit. There is IFC after IFC. <laughs> At least it is possible. You will find out. <laughs> there, <laughs> but in realistic, you will find there is anywhere a limit. So um, uh, it's a little bit we have changed our in, in the past our program was uh, um, just uh, 32 bits so we are naturally limited to up to a uh, two gigabyte uh, RAM assessment. Yeah. Now we have changed it to 64 bits so larger models are larger than two gigabyte will be possible. But um, I guess from Still, from the yeah. performance you will run in limits so that it so. You can try to import it, and then you go to lunch, and two 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 hours later you come back, and then your your model will be imported. But if this is handleable, it's, it's a yeah. it's a different question. But we have seen a lot of railway stations also, so but, um, it should be possible. It's also a question: what is large? And yeah. railway stations are mainly. It's I've seen a lot of them, so it should 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 work. Uh, we have also seen a lot of railway stations. Um, of course, the Deutsche Bahn here in Germany, uh, not here in Germany, but close to Switzerland, um, they're using Revit by default uh, at, at Deutsche Bahn. And we have seen a lot of this Revit uh, models of uh, railway stations, uh, which is also quite quite interesting. And also the way to put it into Relux. And also their Relux was able to work with this even larger models. But there's also an, an uh, we, have, we, have, we have to be, have respect for the coordinate system um, and also the size. So there's also a limit just just in size, so it's uh, it's more a rounding issue with the coordinate system, in in some extent, um, and not just the amount of geometry. So it's also the extent okay. can also be an issue at a certain point. So if you have lots of kilometers or miles, uh, then it can also be run in issues um, just call of just cause of rounding. Okay, enough time. Um, thanks for your questions. Sorry yeah, for not uh, bringing all to the table, but yeah. Um, I hope we get the most of it. Um, yeah, the next episode will be on SenseCalc, complete different topic. It's about sensors, and we have an, a nice new online tool uh, for sensors to place sensors to select the right sensor. And this we want to demonstrate on our next episode. The next episode is number 40, uh, the 40th episode, and it will happen on the 21st of November. So almost in exactly four weeks. Uh, same location, same spot, um, and would be great if you be there again to a different topic. And yeah, please try this IFC import and tell us if it does not work or if it works. Also, this is nice for the support if somebody told, yeah, it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. -bye.